Hey y'all, it's Amy, <clears throat> and thank you for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Amy, and of course I just said that, but I do some makeup, some DIY, some cooking, some random stuff, <laughs> basically, and today I'm going to be doing a DIY design your own unicorn it comes with the unicorn it comes with four paints markers glue on gems and a paint brush i got this at five below and i don't remember how much it was um yeah don't remember um But I love unicorns and I love DIYs, so I thought it'd be a perfect fit for me, you know. Um, they had garden gnomes and some other stuff too, but. instructions that you don't really need. That was a trash can. Here's the markers and all the gems and the paints. And the brush is pretty stiff, kind of bigish. And here's the paint. You get white, pink, purple, and yellow. And then the markers, you get purple, pink, yellow, and blue. Um, yeah. So, I think I want to do markers because wait wait a minute here this thing actually has hair so how do you color it oh so you use the markers on the hair and the rest of the body you use paint so basically you just kind of sit it on a surface that you don't mind getting dirty I'm just using the back of the instructions um, you really can't see what I'm doing though but a lot of people is asking me where my uh, video with me working out is and honestly I took it down I was trying to find a brush but it's fine um, I took it down not a brush a rubber man because I started getting some unwanted attention aka old men let's say because I was in a sports bra and I'm married so I don't want that attention so so right now I'm just coloring the mane of it with the markers I'm kind of holding it tightly so I can it's kind of like dying hair I guess I'm dying I just wanted y'all to know that uh, yes I'm still going to the gym I went yesterday and I did some treadmill work 
That's all I did yesterday, but usually I do like lap cool downs and uh, just random stuff, basically everything, because I go to each thing. Me and my husband, Michael, has been working on getting my beauty room set up, which will be Tammy, my sister's old bedroom. She was living with me for a while, and now she lives on her own. So, I can turn that. It was always supposed to be an office. We just never really had time to do stuff with it because everything was more important <laughs> at the time. But it was always meant to be an office, um, a beauty room if you will, because most of my videos are makeup related. And I'm not going to bore y'all with all this. I just want to like come on here and film a video for you guys because I miss you guys and I love y'all so much um it's just nice to actually sit down for a moment because I've been working real hard on losing weight and counting calories and all that jazz you probably can't tell they lost any because like cause like oh and I cut my hair it's to my shoulders if you follow me on Instagram at Amy Hawk I think it's Amy Hoffman I'll put it in the description bar I don't remember it offhand because I changed it not too long ago. Because <laughs> I got married not too long ago. Yep. The happiest day of my life was me getting married. So there's like one strand. Now I'm going to move on to the blue. And then keep going down the row. I guess that's really all I have to tell y'all. I mean, I think that Tammy's been uh, getting questions about it, about the workout video, and I've been getting questions about it. It's just, I don't want that unwanted attention. I'm trying to do good for my body. I don't need some old dude oobling my goodies, if you will. Um, yeah. I hope y'all understand. I hope y'all see that I am trying. Uh, that workout video was hard for me to do because, like, I didn't know what y'all would say or, you know, with all the haters out there, you never know what they're going to say about stuff. Haters. I'm not good. And I'm no. Cause I'm so I'm going to go ahead and do some more. 
on here and then I'll come back and show y'all the progress um, here's how it looks so far it's just kind of rainbow type fish but yeah I'll see y'all in a little bit so here how it is now <coughs> And let me say it's very tedious and it is very messy. So for this being little kids six and up, let's just hope that these markers come off your hands. Be right back. So I'm making more progress. I just got this little bit to do. And if you make a boo-boo, take a cold rag and just wipe it. And it will come off. Uh, but yeah. I think it looks good so far. My little pony is shook. Not really. But you know. So now that I'm getting closer to the top. I'm going to take two strands of hair. Instead of wool. Just coloring the hair. I feel like I'm repainting. Like I love watching repaints on YouTube. So this to me feel making me feel closer to the like Hexian and the Dawmill and who else I watch? I'm not really sure right now. Dog, documentary, documentary. Um, Dog's brand new look, stuff like that. I love watching. So to me, it makes me feel closer to them because I know it's. Harder than it looks. Even though I'm just like markering their hair. They're rewriting and epoxy sculpting and all that. And I'm just coloring their white hair with a marker. Being this cheap of a craft kit is pretty good. I mean, it keeps me entertained. It wasn't that much money. Um, it's cute. It's really cute. It does make a mess though. That's the only downside I see. So here's how the mane come out. I put a little bit more pink chunks of the top. Pink and purple. I think it come out really well, but my hands, I messed up. <laughs> Look at that. She went to fabulous. So now I'm doing the tail. <clears throat> I'm gonna be. And that means I gotta go get some water. Okay, I want to go get some water. Be right back. So, I got some water. And I washed my hands. Most of it came off. Maybe I was being a little harsh. On it. Because I tend to throw myself into my work. So, I put, just put her hair back. So, the... 
I can get a good coat of paint on here without getting it all over her hair. I'm no way near a painter, so this might turn out bad. Got a more precise brush than that. I'm gonna let that part dry while I move on to the horn. And dust some more fingerprint. Oh, man. I gotta redo that. Now I'm moving on to the horn. I know I want it straight up yellow. For the eyes, I want to take these blue gems right here. For the nose. For the hooves, I'm going to do this purple color. I can't remember everything else. It's wet. <laughs> yeah, you want that in these paints or not okay. They're not acrylic in my book. I have to build this up. That's why I did the tail in one color because these are some watery, non-acrylic paints. Which will be good for little kids, you know. Not a very good painter. I make a mess. And I'm a 31-year-old adult. So, I can imagine what a kid can do with this craft. I just like doing crafts. I don't care if they're little kiddish or not. But I'm going to pause the video and continue working on this craft. I forgot to film the outro the other day. Sorry y'all, but anyway, here's how it came out. I still need to do a couple more coats, but I just wanted to show y'all. And her hair's still up. <laughs> Whoops. But there's the tail. I'm going to do a couple more coats of paint though. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye YouTube. Subscribe. Turn on notification bell so you always. Let me try that again. <laughs> Please turn on the notification bell so you won't miss my uploads. Bye, YouTube. Subscribe.